so that was that was the Jetson Five, and it's uh, DJ KC who did a, did a remix on that. Lost lost all the all the verses and just just got the hook with some extra bass, which I think works really well. Um, just just off the top of my head, J- JD is just found, and uh, we'll probably meet him for a coffee uh, quite shortly uh, in the Phoenix Bar, and. I, th- I think I want to get back to this idea of people because I now recognise that if people come into the view, that's within the scope of this project. Mm-hmm. But I think a lot of people don't live in the in the in the city centre. They mm-hmm. visit the city centre, mm-hmm. and places like cafes, do they do they come into your idea? Of, you know, just visitors who happen to meet each other. The other thing is, I notice a lot of cafes don't have a view, or not much of a view. Uh, no, not for this particular project, and it's it's a very good question because it goes to the heart of the concept, so to speak, and and the interest that we have in um, having, uh, you know, private views, having a layering of people's private lives over public, over the public hemisphere, so to speak. That's what we're interested in, you know. Uh, there's questions related to that, you know, how do people draw the boundaries around what is theirs. How much are they willing to contribute into the public hemisphere, um, and how do they, and how do they develop a sense of ownership over what should be theirs? Talking of the city centre, you know, how are people allowed at this point in time in Exeter to colonise and to use inner city space? You know, what can they do with it? Um, and that's all related, and it kind of crystallises, we think, in the juxtaposition of private places and the world outside as it is experienced from those places that are, ma- are manifestations of people's lives so you've got to start from people who are living that have a domestic space within the city centre yes and that can vary wildly I've got to tell you one example of a woman who recently approached us who wants to be part of the project and she does a display in her window she lives in a small terrace within the perimeter and she looks out onto something which is but basically another row of terraces right opposite she's not particularly interested in her view but she wants to draw people's views in so she makes little window displays for people to see and they change all the time now we would think shopkeeper does that in order to make money but she does it just for the love of it and she sa- she tells me about how she sits in her flat in lo- or her house and looks out and she sit- looks past her little window displays and sees people Japanese tourists, students, whoever, standing outside and, and marveling at her display. Now, there is somebody who really has a desire to radiate out into the public hemisphere from where they live. It's kind of a, an inversion of, of what we are documenting somehow and a really lovely sort of example, you know, how, um, how, that, how that boundary can shift and how it can go both ways, that sort of interaction between inside and outside. And she's a very rare example, obviously, but it was just great. You know, she came up to us and told us, and we thought it was beautiful. So, I imagine a lot of other stuff like that could happen over the, over the next few months. That if if you're inviting photographs from anywhere on the web, that other people will have other sets of photographs, or might do a, a, a similar project or a related project, or 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 have some sort of social media that is is spinning off from what you're doing. Yes, well, and what we want to do with this thing is instigate discourse, make people think. So what we're asking people with the, with the uploading of the image is not just to upload an image, but also please give us a thought. But that's fairly open, the brief is open, you know. And the thoughts do vary wildly. Some people just complain about, you know, parking outside their house, a bit like if you were the council or something, and others write little poems, you know, or you know, little haikus but in you know, that in go that with the image. So there's a really <coughs> varied response and that's great, you know, that's what we want. But as it as it is on the website, that's uh, anonymous. You've 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 chosen to make that anonymous. And so some people yes. may may choose as as I've chosen with my own photos, um, to put other photos onto Flickr in a set that makes some sense to me. So I'm developing a it's it's a related project but it's a it's a different project. Yeah, I would say go for it. I mean uh, the whole point of this project is, you know, for for people to be inspired to, to to be inspired actually, you know, by the idea, you know, of of the window and the and the and and basically all of these themes, you know, somehow I've been talked about and hopefully much more because with any work, good artwork in my view, at the end of the day, things happen that the artist couldn't imagine in the first place. 
So, you know, <laughs> people have responses, you know, you don't precipitate or I, I try to anticipate people's responses because it doesn't do anything really. So if people are inspired to, to make work of the of of these materials, you know, please do so, of course. And do, do you think that that sort of approach will continue throughout the project? I'm just asking that because one, once work, in my experience, gets into a gallery, so once it gets inside the museum, for example, I'm not being you know provocative about the the Royal Albert Memorial Museum especially, but there just is this tendency once uh, artwork, which starts out in a participative manner, mm. is in the gallery, there, there can be different sort of policies applied to it. It depends whether you, also it depends whether you consider the artwork to be finished by the time it hits the gallery. Quite often that's the case, isn't it? Um, so there's a crystallized finished product, and that then is put on the plinth, you know, with the right lighting on it, and celebrated <laughs> as you know, the honor of the artwork and all that. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. That last time, haven't we? we did. Yeah. Yes. So, so that was. Or whether it's a work in process, you know, where where you know, uh, where the gallery is just an extension of the of of the workshop so to speak which is which is the rarer version i suppose um you know that the process continues into the gallery space because and and there's a whole lot of discussion about that you know the arts within the confines of the galleries and outside and what it means you know for the artwork to uh, to be um to be presented and canonized as an artwork so to speak you know so th in the, in this situation that the, the drama might continue as a process then Ah, sorry, the, the drama? The, well, you're going to have a drama performance ah. some months after the installation in the, in the museum. No, the performance is not going to happen in the museum. The performance is going to happen in a, in a, uh, in a city spe centre space that's probably going to be an empty shop because there's plenty of them around. They're just but, hard to get in. But all, I, all, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm, all I'm getting at is that it, it's, it's going to be after the, the, the museum exhibit is, is finalised, if you like. Yeah. So, so it won't be, it won't, in that sense, it won't be finalised. It, it will be a basis for ho however the, the drama is going to work. It'll, it'll be up and running by then, but the, pro the, the installation will be done by then. There will be no more um, growth to it. It will be, you know, by the time it goes up into muse in, the, in the museum, you know, that, that's it. It's a finished piece of work. OK. Well, look, I, I hope you, you come back, Volker, I, and, and others from Blind Ditch over the next uh, few months. With, with, Through, with some dates, yeah. With some dates. <laughs> well, we know it's we know roughly. Oh, there are people in our organisation who do know the dates. I'm you know? sure. <laughs> I'm sure. So if they would if they would come back, we know roughly that that at the moment you're still looking for people who will volunteer their views. Yes. For you. Yes. You're still looking for up to twenty. Yes, it's going to be more than twenty in the end, uh, but you know because. And that, and that won't be about uh, um, how good or bad somebody's view is. It's about how they can be orchestrated those different views into into a, a coherent sort of image, you know. Which at the end of the day is at the discretion of the artists to decide what constitutes what, what the, will fit in with the, with the, how they want yes, to work. Yes, because it's an artwork, and you know, we're okay. going to be judged as such artists, hopefully. Um, sure, but <laughs> that scientists. doesn't that doesn't <laughs> just mean it will be on a plinth in the museum and regarded as ended, <laughs> does it? We think. Well, I hope personally. For example, I mean, one aspect of this project, which I think you've asked me recently in a conversation, whether it's a template for other places, D didn't we have this? Well, yes, because and I, I think it because, could be, yeah. Because you, well, because you used the title "Any High Street" on the on the previous work in the in the Royal Albert Memorial Museum, and you've got this option on the website for anybody from anywhere with web access to contribute a view. That's right. So it is it is generic, isn't it? It's heading in in a very general direction seems well, I, to me. I think that the, the idea of framing a particular city through the views from its residents or a particular district of a larger city, you know, well, you know, I could imagine it to happen somewhere in London, you know, uh, you know, for example, um, yes, uh, we'll see how this goes and, you know, potentially we've got a template there that we can apply to other places for, for similar sort of observations and displays, yeah. Okay, well, we'll come, we'll come back to it mm -hmm. and uh, we look forward to the map. The map is going to be amazing, I think, just to see how this city walls and walking in ten minutes fit together. <laughs> well, Valka's going to run. <laughs> okay. um, and I have now posted the website address on my Facebook page and the World Show Facebook page. Well, that is great. I'm and it's thiscitycenters.net. Okay, and um, we'll put up the real dates as we get them.
Mm. And we'll re- refer to it in future wild shows. OK. Thank you. So, Volker, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. OK, and here is a request for JD. He said anything by anyone, so who knows? Enjoy your song, JD.